joining us on What's Cooking Today with Teresa. This is going to be a fun show today. I've got a couple of special guests that's going to be with us. We've got a children-friendly menu. I guess that's what you can call it. Today we're going to be doing taco cups. We're going to be doing monkey bread, which is, you know, it may come out crazy like a monkey. We're going to do mini corn dogs because all little ones love to eat the little corn dogs. They're so cute. We're going to do the strawberry pineapple shortbread cake out of sugar cookies. So simple to do. Also, we're going to make some homemade lemonade for these hot July days. And we're going to do a fresh vegetable dip with some fresh vegetables. So we want you to come back, join us, see how we're going to do all this, see our special guest, and let your children get in the kitchen with you and y'all make some of these items. We want to thank Traditions Bank for being our lead sponsor of What's Cooking with Teresa. And Traditions is a community bank. They're located here in Coleman. They have, they have six locations also. They're downtown, Holly Pond, and Dodge City. And out of the county, they have Arley, Hayden, and Priceville. They have low interest rates. They have a friendly staff. And we've been with Traditions Bank ever since they opened in Coleman. We love them. They do a lot for us. And what you need to do is give Debbie a call if you're looking for that low interest rate. Her number is 256-735-2138. And we also want to thank Doug Doggett Jewelers for being one of our sponsors of the show. And I want to show you my necklace I have on. Of course, it came from Doug Doggett's. And uh, I'm, I, I just love their staff. It's family owned and operated. And they're located behind Ryan's Steakhouse on the south end of Coleman. They do appraisals, they do custom jewelry, anything that you're in need of, please give them a visit. Give them a call. Their number is 256 734 7883. And we also want to thank Coleman Primary Care for being one of our sponsors. You know, without all of these sponsors, this show could not take place. So we really want to thank them. And they are your downtown family practice group. They have many doctors on staff. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. And they're located on 408 Clark Street in Coleman. Their number is 256-734-3202. Catering by Teresa is rapidly becoming a tradition to the people of Coleman County. For over 12 years, Teresa has catered corporate events, banquets, class reunions, weddings, rehearsal dinners, business luncheons, and holiday parties. Made from scratch meals with little or no MSGs, the variety of choices ranges from prime rib and ribeye steaks to pulled pork barbecue, grilled pork chops, and chicken cordon bleu. Also good old country cooking like meatloaf, country fried steak, and homemade soups and stews. Even specialty menus include vegetarian, diabetic, hors d'oeuvres, and appetizers. Each job is customized to fit the customer. When you want a memorable event, call Catering by Teresa today. Thank you for coming back and joining us. Here's one of our guests. Autumn Scott, she's my niece. Autumn, you go to Good Hope, right? Yes. What grade are you in? Going into eight. Going into the eighth, and she's a cook. So we're going to see how good she can do today. Probably better than me. <laughs> today we're going to start with monkey bread. We're going to do it. You can handle monkey bread, can't you? Yes. You live with my brother, so <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. You ready to get started? Yes. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to get these popped, and if you'll peel one for me. All I'm using are just plain, simple, oh, just cheapo little biscuits. Or I'll get, get them starting and you can throw those away. Trash bowl. <sighs> okay. You can just pick up the generic biscuits, doesn't matter. And instead of whacking the biscuits, usually I get a butter knife and I just try to puncture like that. Find the little crease, give it a little pressure on it, and it pops. All right, um, I'm going to show you a little trick that we do, that I do. What we're going to do is you're going to start cutting these, but, all right, let's pick these up. I'm going to want to spray them with water. If you'll spray a paper towel down and put your cutting mat down on that, it will not slide. How's that, girl? Good. So, all right, we'll put this out of the way. And if you will, if you'll start cutting these into fourths for me, 
It takes four cans of the just regular biscuits to do this. But we're going to start with the two cans and then do a layer. Uh, yeah, use that one. And then I'll get this one and use it if I need it. So, okay. When you get them, uh, when you get them cut, we're going to put these in the sugar, the cinnamon. What I'm going to start with, I've got one cup of just regular sugar. Put that in. And then about, I'm not going to eyeball this. I'm going to get my little measure. I'm going over you. I'm sorry, girl. I'm going to put about a teaspoon, two teaspoons of cinnamon to get us started. And so we'll give this a toss. And as Autumn cuts Good the Lord. biscuits, okay. Go right over there to the side, and I've got this. We're good. We we'll have a little injury in the kitchen. That happens, don't it? <laughs> so, looks like Autumn's out for the take on this. But I bet she'll be back to eat the monkey bread later. <laughs> I'm going to finish up what Autumn started, and then we're going to get her a Band-Aid. And... I'm going to pitch that over to the side. Get these biscuits here. This is a little time consuming, but well worth it. And when you're cooking with your children, you do the cutting on the biscuits and let them do the mixing, which is what I should have done. I did give her the sharpest knife I had in town. But I think she'll be okay. She's tough like her aunt. All right, we're almost down on this. And they're going to stick together a little bit, but that's no problem because when they do, you're going to pull them apart. That sugar mixture that we made is going to separate the biscuits. And we're going to coat them lightly. Okay, now we have the two cans of biscuits cut, and I've got my sugar and cinnamon, and I'm going to put a little bit more cinnamon in there. I love my monkey bread with a lot of cinnamon. Okay, give that a mixture. Good stir. Okay, take your biscuits and just kind of pull them apart as you toss them in the sugar mixture. Okay. Got that. And if they don't come apart when you toss them in, they will come apart as you stir them up. Okay, now you want to give this a stir, and as you're stirring the sugar onto the uh, the biscuits, just separate them a little more because they're going to stick together as they get room temperature. And you want every piece separated and coated. That's what makes the monkey bread good. Okay, you're going to have a lot of extra sugar because we've got to do some more. Okay, now. I've got my, on the cooking spray that I'm using, I use a baking cooking spray because it has a little flour coating in it. And this is my well-worn bunt pan I use. Spray it really well. You'll see the flour that's in there. And I also, this sounds, this doesn't come in the recipe, but I like to sprinkle just a little bit of sugar in the bottom. It'll give it that crunch. Okay, now, shake off your biscuits. Get the excess sugar. You're going to place them just gently around in the pan. Okay. Now, make it even. I'm going to set this aside. Step number two. I'm going to get these going. Now what I'm going to do after I get this other biscuits coated, whoops, that one was ready, wasn't it? That's usually what it does to me. <laughs> okay, just pull the biscuits out. And if you want to, you can actually use the large grand biscuits, but just you'll need to cut back on the how many you use. Probably three cans if you do the grand, uh, but I just picked these up. Okay, I'm going to start with our cutting. I'll stack two on top of the other. Just give them a cut. 
I may just go ahead and put it in there. Separate it after I start tossing it. Okay. This is a fun dish. When I was gathering my stuff up together last night, my son came down in my, in my commercial kitchen that I cater out of, and he looked at the ingredients and he said, Oh my gosh, you're making monkey bread. I said, yes, I am. He said, do you realize how long it's been since you've made monkey bread? We used to make it all the time when they were small, and I bet I've not made it in 10 years. But uh, this was something that they always helped me with. And, uh, and he also mentioned something that my mother, his grandmother, always made. He, he was, we just started talking about different breads and baking, and my mother always made banana nut bread. She would buy bananas... And when the bananas would get just a certain ripeness, which would be too ripe to eat, we would uh, make banana pudding. Then, if the bananas got a little bit too ripe for the banana pudding, then it was time for banana nut bread. So we never wasted anything in our house growing up. My mother was a very thrifty cooker, and, uh, or baker, or chef, or whatever. She, was, uh, she wore many hats, my mother did. She was a dear lady. But uh, I guess that's where I got the knack for cooking. I can remember sitting on the kitchen cabinet when she would make biscuits. And uh, she would roll the biscuits out. And actually, there's not a lot of people that rolls their biscuits out in their hands. Most people cut their biscuits now. But uh, I've actually passed that little knack on to my son. He loves to make biscuits. And he rolls them out like my mother does. Isn't that a hoot? But uh, she was a good cook. And I got most of my talent from her, I think. I don't know if it's talent or just the love of food. Okay, there's our top layer. So what we're going to do, I've got our first layer of bread. I'm going to sprinkle it with a half a cup of chopped pecans. Now, the pecans can be left out. You can omit those if you need to. Some people have um, allergic reactions to some, some nuts and stuff. So you don't have to put the nuts in. But, um, okay, now I've got a cup and a half of brown sugar. To this, we're going to add another teaspoon of cinnamon. And cinnamon is very, very good for you. Okay. And I've got a cup and a half of butter here, melted butter. It The recipe calls for about a cup. But sometimes when I'm mixing this, it, it tends to get a little dry. And you have to pour the mixture in over that your pan that's got the uh, biscuits in it so if it's not pourable add you a little bit more butter all it's going to do is just make it a little bit more gooey and who does not like gooey monkey bread all right looks like we're going to use all the butter but that's not a problem either okay now what we're going to do is we're going to spoon half of this mixture onto our biscuits. I'm going to hurry up because we may not have time to do our taco cook cups if I don't. All right, we're going to sprinkle the sugar off of these biscuits. Not going to be as particular with this one because the more sugar that's in there, the gooier it's going to be with that butter. Okay. Now, I'm going to top it with a remainder mixture of our butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. If you want to use all of this mixture, fine. If you don't, that's okay too. The more you use, the gooier it will be. But since I did have to use a little more melted butter than I was going to, I believe I'm going to stop at that. Okay, we've got this ready to go into the oven. And what you're going to do is you're going to cook, preheat your oven while you're making this up on 350 degrees. Then you're going to bake it for about, start checking it at about 25 minutes because some ovens do cook hotter than others. And it could cook up to 35 minutes, but definitely no longer than that because it'll crystallize and get really hard. So 25 minutes up to 30 minutes and you should be good. So, all right, we're going to set this aside because we're going to pop it in the oven shortly. And now we're going to make our taco cups. And most children love tacos or something related to the tacos, whether it's taco salad or just regular tacos, hard tacos, or soft tacos. 
I'm going to spray down our table and get it ready. Going into our garbage bowl. And now this one, it will not take long at all. All right. We're going to start out with our muffin pans. And when you're making the taco cups, I like to use a corn tortilla and preheat it just a little in the microwave to get it soft and pliable. Keep it wrapped in your aluminum foil until you get ready to use it. Okay. This is so simple. It's, it's amazing. I, I've already pre-cooked a pound of ground beef with a packet of the taco mix, okay? And uh, then I have that set aside and my cheese. If you use the jumbo muffin pans, your normal six inch uh, tortilla shells would be great, but since I'm using the regular tin, what you need to do is get your uh, shears and you want to cut about a half an inch around, just like a half moon. And if it cracks, that's okay because you're going to press it in the bottom anyway. And you want to just work it, okay, down around like that. So we're going to pull these out get these cut. That's the main reason for heating these. They might have cooled off a little bit. That's why they might be tearing on me. But, and what you might have to do as you do a cup, you might have to go ahead and spoon some of this mixture in just to weight it down. Like I'm doing here. And you can, you can either use a uh, the t uh, if you use a turkey ground beef, that'll be great too. If you do, now here's, I'm, I'm all about using leftovers. If you grill out steaks or chicken one night and you have some leftover rotisserie chicken or steaks, what you can do is shred that up, put you a little bit of the taco seasoning meat in it, and then you can have like little fajita cups. You know, I love to experiment and do different things. So we, uh, and when we grill out steaks, we always cook an extra steak or two because there's nothing like a fiesta omelet in the mornings. But, uh, and on this, um, um, on our taco meat, actually, I said that you could use a packet of the taco mix. I don't use the packet of taco mix because my uh, family members, some are allergic to MSGs. And sometimes those are in your taco packs. So if you want to do your own taco meat, it's very simple. While you're browning your ground beef, just chop up about a fourth of an onion and put it in it. And then put uh, a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of garlic, and a tablespoon of salt. And let that stir and cook down with your meat. And it's, it's almost just like the taco seasoning that you buy. And that's what actually that is. That's my homemade taco seasoning mix. But to make it simple, I just, you know... Most anybody can meet, eat the, the packaged items, but of course my husband can't. There's nothing simple about him. So needless to say, since he's allergic to monosodium glutamate, which is MSGs, this old girl here, she has to uh, make all of her soups from scratch before I can even cook a casserole. Good thing I like to cook, huh? But see what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop at this point here. We're going to top it with the cheese. And, because I'm going to finish this during the break, but take your cheese, top it. And, of course, I have garnishes to put on these a little bit later on. All right. A pound of meat will make about 12 of the regular muffins. And then I use, you're going to need about a cup to a cup and a half of the cheese to top it with. Pop these in the oven. You're going to have your oven, oven set on about 375. And I don't know, I think I used my convection oven last night and I cooked them for about 8 minutes. But in a, a standard oven, 10 to 12 minutes. Or I just go over and if your tortilla will break, when it's crisped up, then you're good to go. But the main thing is, if you don't let it cook long enough and your tortilla is still a little rubbery, is what I like to call it, then you just need to pop them in and let them cook a little longer. So I want you to come back and join us on the next segment. We're going to have another little guest, and we're going to have a surprise for you. Thank you very much. 
Again, we want to thank Traditions Bank for being our lead sponsor of What's Cooking. They've been really good to the show, so if you're ever in the area, if you're looking for a bank, go in and meet the staff. And if you're looking for, if you don't live in the Coleman area, if you live out of the county, they have a, a bank at Arley. Hayden, and Priceville. They have one at Holly Pond and Dodge City also. They have low interest rates. They have a friendly staff to serve you. They have online banking. So just give them a call for any of your needs and see if they can help you. And if you're looking for low interest rates, give Debbie a call, 256-735-2138. And we want to thank Axis Realty and Farmers Insurance for being our sponsor. And Axis is owned by Tanya Williams. She has been doing this for years. She's there to help you if you're looking for that real estate need, if you're looking for a house, a farm, commercial, anything. And if you're looking for insurance, any, they do homeowners, they do life, commercial, farm, mobile homes, boats, and recreational vehicles. They're located at Good Hope, uh, just left before the Clayton Mobile Homes. Her number is 256-736-2636. And Chastity Jordan, she's a master cosmetologist, and she works at J. Drake Salon. Chastity's been doing hair for over 16 years. She can do a custom fit for your face, your face shape. She can do customized hair coloring and any hair need for the entire family. Give Chastity a call, book an appointment, and get that new do today. Her number is 256-734-2042. And tell all of our sponsors that Teresa sent you. Catering by Teresa is rapidly becoming a tradition to the people of Coleman County. For over 12 years, Teresa has catered corporate events, banquets, class reunions, weddings, rehearsal dinners, business luncheons, and holiday parties. Made from scratch meals with little or no MSGs, the variety of choices ranges from prime rib and ribeye steaks to pulled pork barbecue, grilled pork chops, and chicken cordon bleu. Also good old country cooking like meatloaf, country fried steak, and homemade soups and stews. Even specialty menus include vegetarian, diabetic, hors d'oeuvres, and appetizers. Each job is customized to fit the customer. When you want a memorable event, call Catering by Teresa today. Thank y'all for coming back with us. This is a special day. We have children on the show, and we're having a ball. Autumn had to step out a few minutes ago, but she's back with us, safe and sound. And then we have Emily. Emily, tell everybody hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Where do you go to school at, Emily? CCS. CCS. And how old are you? Six. Six. You're tall for a six-year-old. She's standing on a stool. <laughs> Do uh, you like to cook? Mm -hmm. Do you like to eat? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? You're in the right place. I do, too. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to get started? Autumn, you ready to get started? Yes. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a, um, I guess it's uh, a little tricky on a, a shortbread, strawberry shortbread stack cake. We're going to use sugar cookies because you can either make your sugar cookies or I have some store bots we can use. Either way is easy and fun. What we're going to start with, Emily's going to be my stirrer. You're going to be my stirrer. <laughs> All right. I've just got a, uh, just a, a vanilla instant pudding. We're going to start with about a half a pack of that. You can use uh, French vanilla, vanilla. You can use different flavors if you want to. I just start with the vanilla. All right, and I've got some sweetened condensed milk. We'll use all of that. And you can always put a little more pudding in there if you need to, but you can't take it out, so start with half. All right, Emily, you ready to stir? All right, here's your spoon. Just kind of hold your bowl with one hand, and then just with the other one, just start gently stirring. And then I'm going to say, here comes some. And you'll move to the side like that. Well, good. I've got about a half a container of, uh, this is an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. Whip topping, any brand you want to use. I'm using about half. Here comes some more. There you go, girl. She's good. You want to work with me? We do catering. We'll go feed your mom. <laughs> Here comes some more. There you go. All right. 
last bit. All right. Clean my little mess up here. I want to show you something, Emily. I don't know if you know this or not. What you're doing, you're doing a stirring motion, right? And if you see a recipe that says do the figure S, you just do an S in the bottom of the bowl. See the S? Do an S. That's it. And if, and if a recipe says to fold it, then all you do is you just take that spoon over and fold it over. Do you know that? Yeah, so you're good. I like to throw little tidbits out there. You want to fold? Let me see you fold. Good girl. See? All right. Now what we're going to do is, since Emily has got her mixture, we're going to set it right there. I have got, uh, it's about of a quart of strawberries I've pre-sliced. And I opened a can of pineapples just for the convenience of it because everybody needs convenient cooking now. And I don't want, I try to drain the juice and it, I still have some in it. But uh, we don't want any of the juice in there. So I'm going to spoon this out. So one can of your chunk pineapples, you can leave the pineapples out, doesn't matter. It's just another little item, a little twang. I like less pineapple, so I'm not even going to use the whole can. There again, I can't leave a recipe alone, can I? Alright, orange marmalade. This is the little secret to it. This is going to give you a glaze to your strawberries. It's going to give a little sweetness to it because I did use fresh strawberries with no sugar because you're going to be getting the sugar from the pudding and the sweetened condensed milk. And we're going to spoon about a half. This jar is, let me see how many ounces, 16 ounces. So we're going to do half a jar of the marmalade. And I really should have put that in the microwave and melted it first. Because you know you can do that. Have you ever seen the, the shiny grapes with the I mean the sugared grapes like at a wedding? You know how you can do that? A lot of people use egg whites. I use apple jelly. Melt your apple jelly, dip your grapes in it, dip them in sugar, and then you got sugar coated grapes. And that's really what I should have done with my marmalade here, but I didn't. But we're okay. It's melted now. Now, give us a little coating there. Are y'all ready to start putting it together? Okay. You're going to be my pudding dipper. I'm going to be the fruit topper. And Autumn's going to be our cookie stacker. Let's see if we pull this together. Okay. Need one sugar cookie. All right. Now, I'm going to get out of your way. Just put you a little bit right there. And if you drip some, that doesn't matter. Anytime I make a mess cooking, it just makes it taste better. All right, now we're going to put a little fruit. See, I dropped some. I covered my bases before I started. All right, how does that look? Little bit more pudding there. That's your job, girl. I'll kid with you. Awesome. Autumn, need a cookie. On top. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't make myself clear, did I? Nope. Just, oh, you're supposed to read this up here. Yeah. Here you go, girl. Now this, I'm not going to make this one as heavy. A little bit of pudding. Mm, cookie on top. A little bit of pudding. We're going to end with strawberries and fruit on top. Okay. I see how simple and cute that is. I like to top it with some. All right, you know what we call this at our house? Whip cream. Cool whip. Do that. Can you do it? There you go. See, that's what this is. <laughs> All right, do that, and I'm going to pull out a strawberry for the top. Look at there. How about that? <laughs> now, you ready to make a Reese stack? This is a, a generic way to do strawberry shortcake. But just use sugar cookies. How simple. All right, we're going to set this aside. And I hope the Reese turns out. Sometimes it's a little difficult because that pudding wants to be kind of thick. But you know what? We're just going to do the best we can do. Because I think it's something that y'all need to see. Okay, are we ready? All I've done is I've bought just a chocolate uh, a simple chocolate icing. You can make yours from scratch. It's so funny. I was in the grocery store last or yesterday evening to pick this up, 
and I asked the lady about it. She was there working, and I said, what's the difference between the creamy supreme and the whipped? She looked at me, I said, I never bought icing. <laughs> I make it. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. Uh, so anyway, all we're going to do here, we have peanut butter cookies. And so, Autumn, if you'll put, put it in, I'm going to let you be my chocolate squirter because this is going to deal me some fits, and I don't want to deal you fits because you're my friend. So I'm going to take a little bit. I won't move that that I put in the way. Put some chocolate icing on the cookie. We need another, oh, put just a, little, just a tiny bit of this. There you go. Don't look at it on your blouse, baby. It's a pretty blouse. There we go. That's good. Another cookie. Another icing. So see how simple? You can do this at home, can't you? A little bit. There you go. Cookie. If the cookies break, it doesn't matter because if it's the bottom one that breaks or the middle one, a little more. It doesn't matter because you're going to cover it up. And one more cookie. Now on this one, I'm not going to put any ice in, but I'm going to let Emily just drizzle that chocolate all over it. Do you like chocolate? Mm -hmm. How much do you like? A lot. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Well, what are we going to put on it? <laughs> now a little bit more. Hold on. There you go, girl. That's it. How about that? I think we could eat that later, don't you? All right, that was fun, wasn't it? Now we're going to do some mini corn dogs. And we may only get to do a few of those because I wanted to work this in because it's something just kind of different. Now, clean my mess. Autumn, if you will, if you'll hand me those cookies, I'm just going to set them right under here. I'm going to set these over here. I brought some store-bought just in case my cookies that I baked crumbled and broke. I always have a backup plan, which never hurts. Okay. I'm going to be the cutter this time. I've got my paper towel. Toothpicks. Cocktail winnies. And our biscuits. I'm going to spray my biscuit pan with some spray. And... We'll pop our biscuits. And really, all these are the pigs in a blanket with a stick. How easy is that? But they're good. See? Pop. There we go. All right, ready? Now, on these, I just, there again, I just got the small, little, simple biscuits. Okay. Press them out. Cut it in half, and then press it a little more. All right, I'm going to do this first one, and then I'm going to let y'all do some, okay? Just lay it in there any way you can, because these biscuits, are they stretch. Roll it over, and if it tears, see how mine tore? It's no big deal, mine tear all the time. Just, I just mash it around. It's kind of like Play-Doh. Remember Play-Doh? Remember Play-Doh. She does it now. i, I got to say, remember Play-Doh? Okay, now see, I've got it all covered. And what I do is I roll it a little bit, to, and then I get a toothpick, stick it in the end, and we have a mini corn dog. How about that? All right. Emily, I'm gonna let you get started on one. And just grab you a little cocktail winnie right here, and fold it over. There you go, Autumn. And if they don't cover the whole thing, that's okay. All right, see? And then when on the end, look, Emily, see how it don't? I just pinch it too a little bit. You can use a whole biscuit and it covers a lot easier, but then you have so much bread. I want the meat. And I've got mine done, so I'm going to stick on the big end my toothpick in it. Got it? Good deal. Y'all ready for some more? And you can actually use just the, there you go, baby. There's your another one. You can use uh, just regular hot dog. 
franks and cut them in just about a one inch length and do these. You can uh, use the bigger biscuits, the grand biscuits, and cut your franks in like a two inch and make a longer corn dog, which a corn dog has cornmeal in it. These biscuits don't, but that's okay. We just kind of call it pig on a blanket on a stick. There's one. You want to do another one? Do you eat pigs in a blanket? Do you eat these? Do you? There you go, Autumn. Anything's better on a stick, ain't it? Thought about doing popsicles to show you how to do popsicles, but I don't have a freezer up here, so I can't do it. I may just have to tell y'all how to do the popsicles. All right. Girls, I think we're going to stop on this. Get these ready for the oven. And then have some uh, corn dogs after a while. You want me to tell you how to do the popsicles? Okay. Mm -hmm. Get you an ice tray. Have you ever seen just the little plastic ice trays that you put water in? Mm -hmm. Tell mom to get you an ice tray. <laughs> and then you make Kool-Aid, but you make it a little extra strong and a little extra sweet. So if you get a pack of Kool-Aid and it calls for a cup of sugar, put a cup and a fourth of sugar and not quite as much water. Leave two cups of water off. Stir it real good. Pour it in your ice trays. Put some saran wrap over it and get a toothpick and put it down. Poke a hole in each of the saran wraps and put it in the freezer. And then when they freeze, you've got a popsicle. How about that? Thank y'all for joining us on this segment. We want to thank Emily and Autumn. And y'all got to come back and we're going to make some homemade lemonade. Emily's specialty. We want to thank Traditions Bank for being our lead sponsor of What's Cooking with Teresa. And Traditions is a community bank. They're located here in Coleman. They have, they have six locations also. They're downtown, Holly Pond, and Dodge City. And out of the county, they have Arley, Hayden, and Priceville. They have low interest rates. They have a friendly staff. And we've been with Traditions Bank ever since they opened in Coleman. We love them. They do a lot for us. And what you need to do is give Debbie a call if you're looking for that low interest rate. Her number is 256-735-2138. And we also want to thank Doug Doggett Jewelers for being one of our sponsors of the show. And I want to show you my necklace I have on. Of course, it came from Doug Doggett's. And uh, I'm, I, I just love their staff. It's family-owned and operated. And they're located behind Ryan's Steakhouse on the south end of Coleman. They do appraisals. They do custom jewelry. Anything that you're in need of, please give them a visit. Give them a call. Their number is 256-734-7883. And we also want to thank Coleman Primary Care for being one of our sponsors. You know, without all of these sponsors, this show could not take place. So we really want to thank them. And they are your downtown family practice group. They have many doctors on staff. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. And they're located on 408 Clark Street in Coleman. Their number is 256-734-3202. Catering by Teresa is rapidly becoming a tradition to the people of Coleman County. For over 12 years, Teresa has catered corporate events, banquets, class reunions, weddings, rehearsal dinners, business luncheons, and holiday parties. Made from scratch meals with little or no MSGs, the variety of choices ranges from prime rib and ribeye steaks to pulled pork barbecue, grilled pork chops, and chicken cordon bleu. Also good old country cooking like meatloaf, country fried steak, and homemade soups and stews. Even specialty menus include vegetarian, diabetic, hors d'oeuvres, and appetizers. Each job is customized to fit the customer. When you want a memorable event, call Catering by Teresa today. I'm glad y'all could come back and join us. Emily's here and Autumn's here. And are y'all ready to make a little fresh vegetable dip? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. This is a very, very simple recipe. With the vegetables coming in, and, and, and you can even eat them with chips, but I like to make a good fresh vegetable dip. And I'm going to start out with 
one cup of sour cream. You can use low fat, fat free, whatever you want to, but I've got the regular. And I've already pre-minced these. I've got about uh, a tablespoon of green onion and about a tablespoon of herbs. Now on my herbs, you can, I, I've got cilantro and basil in there. You can use parsley. You can use, uh, well, anything. Uh, rosemary, thyme, but I love the fresh taste of basil and my green onions. So we're going to put those in there. Okay, you see that? All right. Autumn, you be stirring that, and then I'm going to let Emily use. All right. I've got about a teaspoon of garlic powder. Can you put that in there for me, babe? And then I'm making sure I've got enough here. Got that? Now, what I've done, I've cheated just a little bit. Instead of doing all the different seasonings, I just use Lowry's. I, I like to use that seasoning, and, and when we smoke a lot of our stuff, I make my own rub. But I like the Lowry's. It just gives it a different flavor. So if you'll, that's one tablespoon, Emily, if you'll put that in there for Autumn. I'll let her get that mixed up. And before I salt that, I'm going to give it a taste because that Lowry's has a lot of sodium in it. And that's really all it is. Um, I like the looks that the Lowry's give to it. It gives it a little uh, offset color. And I like the fresh vegetables. Oh, don't let me get just a little taste of that. Does not need any salt. We're good to go on that. All right. So that's all that is on that. We're going to set this aside. And we're going to jump into making our lemonade. Woohoo! This is going to be a quick little segment because it's just not taking long on it. Okay, Autumn, if you'll set that on that side. I'm about out of room over here. All right, Emily, if you will, I'm gonna let you, Autumn, if you'll hold the container for Emily. We're gonna let Emily start squeezing her lemon juice for us. I've already, I cheated a little. I've already squeezed about five, six lemons last night. This recipe is for a gallon of freshly squeezed lemonade. There you go, sweetie. And to that, the lemons, the, the large lemons, I use anywhere from five to seven, depending. I want two cups of lemon juice is what I want to use. There's one more, okay? So Emily's getting us going here. Okay. I've got about a cup and a half of lemon juice here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this into here. I'm going to use my fingers as a strainer to try to catch the seed. See how I'm catching the seed, Emily? A lot of times they're heavy and they'll just stay in the bottom. How's that? Now, did you see the difference in your lemon juice and my lemon juice? When I used the juicer, it got so much of the pulp and so much of the inside stuff out, that's why it made it creamy looking. But it won't affect your lemonade. That's why mine look different than yours. Okay. Now, we're going to use this to mix our lemonade in. I've got about a half a cup of water in there. We're going to pour all of our lemon juice. Okay. And, let's see. Where is my sugar? I think I left my sugar over on the table. Anyway, I can put that in there in just a second. What we're going to do is I use three cups of sugar. I'm not going to take time to go pick it up, but uh, to this you've got one, uh, about one and three-fourths to two cups of lemon juice. You're going to put three cups of sugar into this, and we're going to pour this into our, I've got about a half a gallon of water already in there. Now when you put your sugar in, you're going to put your sugar in with your lemonade your lemon mixture first. Dissolve that and then you're going to pour this mixture into this just like I just did. Okay? We're going to give it a good stir. This is going to be a quick segment because it doesn't take long to make lemonade, does it? Especially if you have all your lemons already juiced. Because I knew we would be here for a long time. Me and Autumn and you would be juicing lemons for an hour. <laughs> yeah. All right. What we're going to do is when we go back, um, we're going to take a break and listen to our sponsors. We're going to come back. We're going to add our three cups of sugar. Shh, three cups. But you got to have three cups. 
<laughs> Don't tell mom. We're going to put our sugar back into this. We're going to ice it. We're going to display all of the food we did. We did our mini corn dogs. We did our strawberry shortcake cookie stackers and our Reese stackers. Our taco cups. We're going to have condiments for all of that. And... That's it. We're going to, oh, we're going to slice some vegetables while we're on break. We're going to get those displayed to eat with our dip. Sound good? Y'all come back and join us. Again, we want to thank Traditions Bank for being our lead sponsor of What's Cooking. They've been really good to the show, so if you're ever in the area, if you're looking for a bank, go in and meet the staff. And if you're looking for, if you don't live in the Coleman area, if you live out of the county, they have a, a bank at Arley, Hayden, and Priceville. They have one at Holly Pond and Dodge City also. They have low interest rates. They have a friendly staff to serve you. They have online banking. So just give them a call for any of your needs and see if they can help you. And if you're looking for low interest rates, give Debbie a call, 256-735-2138. And we want to thank Axis Realty and Farmers Insurance for being our sponsor. And Axis is owned by Tanya Williams. She has been doing this for years. She's there to help you if you're looking for that real estate need, if you're looking for a house, a farm, commercial, anything. And if you're looking for insurance, any, they do homeowners, they do life, commercial, farm, mobile homes, boats, and recreational vehicles. They're located at Good Hope, uh, just left before the Clayton Mobile Homes. Her number is 256-736-2636. And Chastity Jordan, she's a master cosmetologist, and she works at J. Drake Salon. Chastity's been doing hair for over 16 years. She can do a custom fit for your face, your face shape. She can do customized hair coloring and any hair need for the entire family. Give Chastity a call, book an appointment, and get that new do today. Her number is 256-734-2042. And tell all of our sponsors that Teresa sent you. Catering by Teresa is rapidly becoming a tradition to the people of Cullman County. For over 12 years, Teresa has catered corporate events, banquets, class reunions, weddings, rehearsal dinners, business luncheons, and holiday parties. Made from scratch meals with little or no MSGs, the variety of choices ranges from prime rib and ribeye steaks to pulled pork barbecue, grilled pork chops, and chicken cordon bleu. Also good old country cooking like meatloaf, country fried steak, and homemade soups and stews. Even specialty menus include vegetarian, diabetic, hors d'oeuvres, and appetizers. Each job is customized to fit the customer. When you want a memorable event, call Catering by Teresa today. And I'm so glad y'all stuck with us through the show. We did a lot of different things today. We've got Emily and Autumn here who helped me prepare all of this. Hello. <laughs> okay. Do you remember what that is? Taco cups. Taco cups. And Autumn, you want to tell what we did down there? Did our vegetable dip? Yeah. And? Monkey oh, our monkey bread. bread. Yeah. And our mini, mini corn, corn dogs. dogs. And while we was on the break, I did a mixture of mustard and ketchup. That's the way we eat it at home on our corn dogs. So I just did a little mixture. You can put a little brown sugar in that to give it a little sweetness, a little kind of sweet and sour thing going there. But um, that's what I did there. And, girls, what do we have here? Strawberry, Strawberry cake. cake. Strawberry cakes made with cookies. cookies. And here? Right. They don't look as good as they taste, probably. But this is a Reese stack with chocolate syrup. And, of course, it's July, so look at our little meringue running. Or, right? <laughs> Not meringue. And this is a strawberries, pineapples, and marmal orange marmalade that we mixed with our fruit there. So I just put it on the table in case somebody wants that. This, is, of course, is our taco cups we did with our taco meat and our corn tortillas we put in the muffin pans. And I have some salsa, sour cream, and cheese. We can top those with. And, of course, our lemonade. So, girls, you ready? You want to try something? All right. Emily, what did you say you wanted? The chocolate? All right. I'm going to let you hold the plate. And I'm going to see if we can cut into one of these. Yeah. Using cookies, it's hard sometimes. That's okay. 
Are you ready? Right, here we come. I'm coming over and over. Aha! How's that? That did pretty good. You want some extra chocolate on it? I can put some with a spoon. Do you? Alright, you want anything else? You want to try some fruit or pineapples? Yeah. You like the pineapples, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll put those there. Alright, you need a fork, sweetie? Autumn, what do you want, babe? I'll just get the same thing as Emily. The same thing as Emily? Mm -hmm. We're daring today. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you hold your plate. Get some syrup. Yeah. You got some fruit? No, this is fine. Is that fine? Mm -hmm. All right. You know what? I'm going to try mini corn dog. But I'm not going to double dip, I promise. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, it's hard to eat on TV without making a mess. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm. Okay, let's try some lemonade. we got to wash all this down, don't we? Yeah, it's I'm, sweet. I know. This is our lemonade that we did put the sugar in. I'm going to put it here so I won't make a mess. I'm going to give it a stir. Because a lot of times when you put ice in your lemonade or tea or anything, it's going to get weak at the top when it starts melting. Okay? Let's see if I can pour this without making a mess. There you go, Autumn. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Emily, and there may be some seeds in there, girl. That's good, too. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Is it too sweet? Nope, it's just right. See? You have to have the three cups of sugar. <laughs> Is it too sweet? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Just right? Okay. Cheers, girls. <laughs> Please, get with your children. Try these recipes. They're so simple. Make a batch or buy a, a, a box or a bag of cookies do these items the fruit dip I mean the vegetable dip I've got the fruit on my mind the vegetable dip that's easy to make serve it with your vegetables fresh vegetables you can also serve it with nachos corn chips potato chips or whatever and then we have our uh, monkey bread of course and tighten it up with our lemonade y'all have a very safe and a very blessed summer thank you for joining us on what's cooking with Teresa and please by all means when you're out and about, visit our sponsors and thank them for viewing the show. Thank them for sponsoring the show and all of their support that they give us. And y'all have a blessed summer.